marginal distributions of bivariate distribution we are given x and y which have a joint probability density function which is 1 over 8 x y where x lies between 0 and 2 and y lies between 1 and 3 and 0 otherwise so we want to find the marginal probability density function of x and that is what we normally say it is f1 of x why are we getting the marginal because you have been given a joint two variables together so we want to extract one of the variables and how do we express that for the continuous case that is the integral from 1 to 3 1 over 8 x y dy which is 1 over 8 x y squared over 2 1 2 3 and we have done that before and this will give us 1 over 8 x 9 over 2 minus 1 over 2 and that will give us a value equals to 8 over 2 so it will be 1 over 8 x times 8 over 2 which will be equals to x over 2 therefore we can comfortably say f1 of x is equals to x over 2 where x lies between 0 and 2 and 0 otherwise it should not come to as a surprise because you can also show that that f1 of x dx between 0 and 2 is equals 1 that means f1 of x is a pdf of x uh, let's show that very fast and uh, this will give me the equation of the form from 0 to 2 x over 2 dx it's not x squared i mean x over 2 and this is uh, x squared over 4 and the limits of integration is 0 to 2 and the answer is 1 proving that our marginal pdf of x is actually true that it is a pdf the second situation is where we want to get the pdf of uh, y uh, that is the marginal marginal pdf of y and that is how we normally write it as f2 of y and so f2 of y is the integral from 0 to 2 1 over 8 xy dx so when you're getting the marginal of y we integrate with respect to x and that will give us y over 8 x squared over 2 0 to 2 so and if we put that limit it will be 4 over 2 uh, 4 over 2 is 2 therefore it will be y over 8 times 2 which is y over 4 and we can say that the f2 of y will be equals to y over 4 where y lies between 1 and 3 and it's 0 otherwise you can also show easily that actually the f2 of y is a pdf let for number two want to let x and y have a joint probability mass function whereby you are given your f of x y to be equals to 1 over 54 x plus y x is 1 2 and 3 and y is 1 2 3 and 4 and therefore 0 otherwise so that is our probability mass function and the first part is we want to find the marginal probability mass function of x which is given as f1 of x so that's what we want to find from that equation 
And so based on that set of information, now we can be able to get the f1 of x, which is basically for the continuous we were integrating over y, for the mass function we sum over y, which is 1 over 54. And then we have x plus y, y is 1, then x, this will be given over summation of y, 1 over 54, x plus y. And we know that y is equals 1, 2, 3, and 4, and that's what I'm doing. So whenever there is y, I just sum with the value of x, then plus the value of given y. And that gives us 1 over 54, 4x plus 10. Therefore, I can comfortably say that my marginal uh, probability mass function for x is equals to 2x plus 5 over 27, and x lies with x is 1, 2, 3, and 0 otherwise. And uh, one thing we need to keep in mind is that you can show that uh, we can show that f1 of x is a probability mass function and basically what it means is you sum over x uh, 2x plus 5 over 27 and so it will be 1 over 27 and then it will be 2 times 1 plus 5 and then 2 times 2 plus 5 and then 3 times 2, which is 6 plus 5. The value of x is changing. It's 1, 2, 3. So it will be 1 over 27. 7 plus 9 plus 11, which will be 27 over 27 is equals to 1. So when I sum the f of x, f1 of x over x, and I get 1, then that tells me that it is a probability mass function, which is very true from what we have just been able to show. The second part is to find the marginal uh, probability mass function of y, and that is f2 of y. And how do we go about that? It is f2 of y is equals to u sum over x 1 over 54 x plus y and x is equals to 1 2 3 which will be 1 over 54 whenever there is x i put 1 plus y whenever there is x i put 2 plus y and whenever there is x i put 3 plus y and all that will give me 6 plus 3 y over 54 what is common 3 is common between all of them, so it will be 1 over 18, uh, 2 plus y. And therefore, I can comfortably say that my f2 of y is equals to 2 plus y over 18, y has 4 values, and uh, 0 otherwise. So that's the... the probability max function of y. These videos are lovely. I'm sure you are learning also. And if you are loving my videos, please do subscribe. Thank you.